We are grateful to our sponsors, Kelly Stafford with Stafford Tree Service and also Black Cow Cow Manure. If you need your trees trimmed locally, remember Stafford Tree Service at StaffordTreeSVC.com and please visit Black Cow Cow Manure, that's K-O-W. Remember, both of the contact details are in the description below. Hi, I'm Stan DeFritis, Mr. Green Thumb for Ask Mr. Green Thumb. I want to talk a little bit about a plant that uh, I think is interesting, and that's the olive. This one is an Arbaquina, and it is ideal for certain parts of the U.S. It's one of the ones recommended for Florida. Now, the Arbaquina was one that was uh, originally, they brought them from Spain, and of course, originally from the Holy Lands. When you talk about history, these have been around for about 6,000 years and that's a long time. So if you want a tree that could live a long time, it's potentially this tree could live a thousand years. A lot of people say, well, I'm gonna outlive my little philodendrons and my annuals, of course. I don't know. I think most folks even taking your one a day aren't gonna outlive a thousand years. This one, of course, is um, a cute little sample. Now I brought the small little tree in. I thought about, you know, Olive trees will get gnarly and big, and we think of them as something of Greece and Roman times. Um, often they were mentioned in the Bible. You think about Noah, but when they brought back the bird, brought back the olive branch, and they knew they were having land was nearby. Actually, in the Bible, they are mentioned, the tree itself is mentioned about 60 times and about 120 times if you consider olive oil. And what do most of us like? Well, I like olive oil and I like olive trees. Um, olive oil is something that I think is healthy for people. More and more of us should be going toward natural good oils. And this is one of the better oils. When you talk about the Mediterranean diet, part of it's because of this tree. And I think that it's one that uh, I think would make a great addition as a not so much an indoor plant. I think you could keep it as an indoor plant, but it's gonna need more light. If you have it on a porch or patio, maybe this is a small container. As it gets larger, I will step this into a larger container and eventually it may go into the ground where it could get to be 15 to 20 feet tall, which is considered a small tree. Now that's a large shrub, but it makes a, a nice size tree. It does. If you pick out one, make sure it has a nice straight trunk and they will tend to spread. As they get larger, you're gonna trim it and it's gonna wind up going up with multiple branches. This has a very leathery leaf, so it is better about conditions. You know, it'll grow in desert conditions, but I think it's gonna be happier if you do water it, especially when they're young. Remember when they're young and they're babies, you need to make sure they get more care and more water. So on this, I'd probably be watering every couple of days. I'd let it get a little bit dry and then I wouldn't let it get bone dry. Yes, can it eventually grow into a desert situation? Sure, but often if you let it get too dry, it could die, especially when it's young. Arbaquina is a good variety. It's one of the better varieties for um, good tasting. You could have them as olives that you process. Normally you're not going to eat an olive right off a tree. Either it's going to have to go through a branding, through salt, or you're going to have to treat that olive before you eat it. So if you're thinking you can go out and pick them, you'd find them probably way too bitter to eat right off the tree. But I think it'll be fun to process some olives down the road. Now I realize in my case it's going to be a number of years before I have to worry about getting the, uh, you know, the press to make that happen. But, you know, I'm optimistic, so I'm hoping I will live long enough to have olive oil and olive for my table from this particular tree, the Arbaquino. Remember, every Saturday at 10 a.m., you'll be seeing new social media drops uh, on your favorite platform every Saturday. And if you like this video, we appreciate it. If you tell your friends, hey, subscribe. And also we wanna, once again, Thank you for watching.